Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is June Imperium Dry Gin. This one right here. June Imperium comes from an Estonian distillery founded by Tavo Janso, and I hope I pronounced that right. He started his career as a fashion designer. The name this gin basically translated is the Empire of Juniper because they use multiple junipers from around the world in the production of their gins. Wow, it's very interesting. Another interesting design feature is that the wood from the actual stop up is made from the wood of the juniper tree. It's an amazing looking bottle as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that. So the botanicals include juniper, angelica root, coriander seeds, cubic pepper, thyme, and the others are secret. Ooh, we love secrets. It has an ABV of 45% and comes in this beautiful looking 70 cent litre bottle with simplicity by yeah. design. Today I'll be making a classic signature gin and tonic using Indian fever tree tonic water with a little wedge of lemon, some thyme from our garden that's in flower and some juniper berries. As always, we'll be trying it neat first. So let's get to it. That's freshly picked and it's in flower as well. Can I smell it? I You'd can smell, smell it, yeah. That's all I can smell. Right, there is a little bit here. Let's see if we can do oh. that. You and knives. I know. Well, there was a little bit there, but it just didn't seem to work properly. So you can get rid of that. There we I'll go. give it a, there you go. Oh, oh that was disappointing. A little pop. Juniper wood. <sighs> oh, that's a... Mm. Very powerful, like kind of alcohol smell. Wow. Oh, it's very woody. It's got a really different taste. Very piney. Very, very piney. Like freshly sawn pine wood. That's... Actually, do you know what? Now that you've said that, it tastes like wood, sawn you're... wood. Yeah, sawn yeah. wood. It actually, when you, when you get a bit of sawdust in your mouth, Right, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, well, don't look at it. The mouth? It's it's an observation. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's very piney, mm. really, really piney, really kind of clean, um, almost menthol. All I can get is in my in my vision is is sawn wood, and I really like that. Are you getting menthol though? I'm getting menthol. It it tastes very mentholy to me, eucalyptusy almost. I'm getting a little bit of tingle. Oh, there you go. I've actually got. Yeah, it's a bit like when you have a uh, one of those sweets in the winter. Yeah. To open your open up your passages. <laughs> to, to get rid of the catar. Yeah. Guitar. Actually, I, that's that's such a different taste. Mm. That has got a completely different taste profile to most of these gins. That is really weird. And it's are you getting a bit of a tingle? Because I'm getting a tingle. Yeah, now. I'm getting a tingle at back of my lips there. Mm. Um, actually, I quite like that neat. Yeah, it's it's very mentally. Very yeah, good, that is. That, now uh, we said it was like the taste of sawn wood, right? It's that's not a bad thing. It's actually quite a homely taste. Yeah, I really like that. But as you taste it more, that sawn wood kind of disappears yeah, a little that's bit, gone, and, and I'm getting more men mental. mental now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's get down some tonic. All right. Let's do this. So, cheers. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers. Mm. I'm still getting the woodiness. Yeah, I'm, and I'm still getting the woodiness. I'm still getting the pine, freshly sawn pine. I'm getting menthol flavors coming it's through. It's really menthol. Yeah. Really menthol. It's like being, not as, not as heavy, but like being in a sauna. Mm. When they, when they, I mean, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of the, the smell of the wood the in there. The pineiness is, is amazing. Wow. It's really clean pine. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing smell. And it's, I, I wonder if that's from the, the different kind of juniper berries that are in there. That's so weird. Like the smell is so intense. 
yeah, I, I like that. I'm getting dryness again. That's, that's quite nice. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. It's, um, yeah, it is a dry gin. Um, I just can't get over the flavour profile. It is distinctly different from lot from like gins we've tried before. Distinctly yeah, different. it is. It's very oily, but not not bad oily. Quite nice oily. See, I don't think it's that oily. I just think it's really really piney. I just get a lot of, lot of kind of fresh fresh woody pine. I get menthol. I get all those kind of lifting, um, almost kind of nose clearing flavours. Sorry. That's a good description actually, nose clearing yeah. flavours. <clears throat> I'm still getting oiliness though. I get an oiliness. Yeah, I do. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting all of that. I'm getting a woodiness, but I'm still getting oiliness. And it's nice and dry. You mm. like a dry gin. And it is a bit sweet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sweet. just got enough sweetness. It's mm. not too sweet. I mean, yeah, it's it's a very good I gin. I think um, if if someone told me, right, what would you describe a really good juniper flavour as, it would be this. Yeah, I, th I think you're you're right. I think that's a that's a very good example of a juniper. Very very gin. very juniper led. It is unmistakably gin. It's as if it's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. There you <laughs> go. Is. I can add lib as well. Um, no, but it is. It's it's beautiful. It's it's a really really beautiful blend. Yeah. I I think they did they did a really good thing adding different types of juniper to that because mm. it's made it a very juniper full. It's gin. now made me really really intrigued by this one here, which is their rhubarb edition. So That's I'm, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be as good as this one. Well, we don't know until we try it. And we're not that's doing true. it just yet. So no, we're only doing one, one per video. Um, right, let's let's give it a score. Yeah, okay. Right, you take it on. This is this is a tough one actually. Not that tough for me really. I don't think. Um, Do you know what? I, I I need to. It is. It's it's a drink that I would happily have by a fireside Ooh. in in the winter, have this clinking away, it wouldn't last very long, um, but think, right, okay, that this would be really lovely, very kind of Christmassy, very wintry, but also it's fresh enough that it's a really good summer gin too. See, I'm really undecided. Anyway, let's go it for it. depends what mood you're in. i justify my right. answer. Go. My score. See, I've done a nine. Like it to keep the bottle. Well, you, you do. You <laughs> That's do. the deal. That's the deal. Whoever scores the highest has the control of the bottle. I I was I was torn between that and a ten. I just can't. I can't explain why it wasn't a ten. I think. Well, that's it. You can't explain why. So that's it. End of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I still, I, I probably still me being me, want a little bit more citrus, but that's just me, isn't it? I always, yeah. I always I like you, really. You citrus. always want something that you citrus. can't have. Yeah. So I, I like it. It's piney. Um, it's it's mentholy. Um, it has a really good mouth feel, and it's. A, I think it's. I, I just, you know, I just picture myself in the winter, roaring fire. One of these in my hand, and yeah, that's that would be kind of. I don't know if it's just a bit too mentally for me. So forget the citrus, forget that, right? Because I, I do love citrus gins, but I don't know if that's just too menthol for me. But what I love is as you bring it up to your nose, you get yeah, absolutely. It's an amazing smell. Wood. I mean, it's maybe beautiful. it should have been a ten. Maybe I yes, should do it. A no, 10. no, no, no. I think you should score it in nine because I get to keep the bottle. Of this. Let forget the control of the bottle. It's. We may need to start doing half scores here. No, um, no, that complicates things. We were doing 11s and that complicates things even more. Yeah. Um, no, I really love it. Um, I do like it. I do like the fact that it's menthol, right? I do like the fact that it's woody. And so is the stopper. June so Imperium, I really love it. Yeah. I really love what, you, what you've done. Um, I, don't feel, I don't feel completed it's at our the moment. First, I really don't. It's our first Estonian gin and I think it's fantastic. 
I, think I, I mean, don't get me wrong, a nine's a good score. Nine's a very good score. Anything above five yep. is above average. Five's, five's right. okay. Everything above five is good. Anything above five, five is average, and I've given it a 10, a whacking great big 10. You've given it a nine. I've given it a nine. I have, okay, that's, that's my choice, and that's what I've decided. Right, okay. There you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do and that. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.